Let's get over to Alexandra. Good morning, Leslie, and we're in for another warm, kind of humid, breezy sort of day today. Certainly feeling sort of spring like we'll say and our temperatures this morning in New Orleans are not super cool. If you step outside, you're going to say, oh yeah, it's kind of humid and it's not too cool with temperatures right around 70 degrees. And that's the case from Homa to Galliano to the lakefront right at 70. Now jump over the lake to Slidell and you're at 59. So a little bit of a range as some cool air has kind of settled here. Bogalusa at 57 and then other spots, uh, mainly in the 60s to about 70 this morning. In the upper atmosphere, we have surface high pressure off to our east, bringing in those south winds today, so it'll be a little breezy at times. And then we have a setup in the upper atmosphere where we will get a couple of troughs of low pressure swinging north of us, really keeping most of any strong storms to the north, but also driving a surface front near us and then it's going to kind of stall and when we have that set up often we can see rounds of rain because we're kind of out ahead of the front where there's enough moisture and enough lift out ahead of the front to uh, create that instability and cause those showers and storms to form. So really not so much today. Today looks mostly dry but tomorrow, Friday and Saturday we will likely get a few rounds of rain with the cold front finally getting the big push from the upper atmosphere or the upper level winds to move through on Saturday. Not a super cold front. It's not going to actually be much colder behind the front, but we will be drying out with our rain chances in the second part of Saturday going down. Our local expert forecast though for today are uh, say Raceland. Our temperatures will be about 82 or so, 83 for the high, something like that. So kind of warm and breezy and a stray shower is possible today. So don't be surprised by that, but we're just not expecting a whole lot of rain today. We'll keep our rain chance today near maybe 10 or 20%. Tomorrow, especially maybe overnight tonight into early tomorrow, we uh, crank it up to 70%. So we will get a line of showers and storms overnight tonight, kind of sent out ahead of that cold front that will take its time moving in. Friday, we have a chance for some scattered showers and a couple of storms, but it doesn't look so rainy during the day. It will be more early Saturday with rain coming to an end sometime during the day Saturday. And if you're wondering about the Saturday setup, it does look like it'll be sometime maybe between afternoon and evening at this point. Models aren't in great sync when it, the rain will end on Saturday just yet, but I know you might want to know that for your weekend plan, so we'll keep you updated. Here's the severe risk, by the way, for today. Notice that for us, we're just barely included on the fringes of the risk for our North Shore spots, and this would be not today really for us, but tonight when we see that line of storms arrive. That means we might have a high wind gust, maybe some small hail and a low end chance for a tornado, but all of that mostly, as you can see, would be farther to the north. Here's our high resolution model as you make your plans today. 3 p.m. still just kind of mostly cloudy to partly cloudy, warm and breezy. A couple of showers are bubbling up by about 4 or 5 p.m., but not a whole lot of rain today. Here we go tonight as we move toward 2, and then I pause it here at 3 a.m. You can see showers, a couple of storms arriving, maybe making it toward the coast by as early as 7 or 8 a.m., and leaving us tomorrow during the day with much less rain than we'll see very early in the morning. So that's the first round. Then the next round is coming late Friday and into early Saturday, as I said, and then we'll be drying out sometime in the second part of Saturday and into Sunday this weekend.